How the hell did High School Musical 3 gross north of $250 million off an $11 million budget? For the same reason, the entire franchise grossed well over $4 billion. Because the audience, the preteens, the young teens, and a ton of their parents loved those movies. They loved the musical numbers. Today, we're going to talk to a writer who might just have cooked up the next high school musical franchise, but it's not set in high school. It's set in the world of competitive surfing and a particular flavor of surfing which the world has never seen before on celluloid. Tandem surfing. Now, I could talk and talk about it, but you just have to see this to believe it. Sarah, what's the movie about? Breaker Lane is high school musical on surfboards. It's about a pampered cheerleader who struggles to reinvent herself as a competitive surfer and win Breaker Lane, Santa Cruz's white knuckle surf contest. Our heroine is Liv, and when her mom and wealthy stepdad jet off to a European vacation, Liv is forced to spend the entire summer with her estranged beach bum surfer dad at her childhood beach shack. And she completely resents her dad because she blames his surfing obsession for the breakdown of her parents' marriage, despite the fact that Liv used to love surfing. The story really kicks off when Liv runs into her childhood surf rival, Darlene, who tempts Liv back onto a surfboard. And once Liv is back out on the waves, feeling that freedom and that rush of surfing, her dormant competitive surf spirit is reawakened. And Liv determines she's going to beat Darlene in Santa Cruz's white knuckle surf competition at Breaker Lane. And in the meantime, what Liv is gonna do is have a lot of fun tandem surfing with Darlene's boy crush. So what Liv thinks is going to be this long, hot summer of misery with her estranged father turns out to be a journey of healing and self-discovery. She overcomes her resentment, she reconciles with her dad, and she even finds herself in a position where she just might win Breaker Lane. So not only have you created a screenplay, but you've also created some temp tracks, some test songs. I wrote 10 original songs for Breaker Lane and had so much fun doing it because I was getting into the heads of my characters and, you know, feeling what they were feeling in that moment. And so that was great. And then I had some of those songs fully produced just to give uh, potential producers and financiers a sense and a feel for the vibe of the music and the screenplay itself. I'm going to put this out on my LinkedIn. If any of my producer contacts are interested in reading, download the pitch deck. And Sarah, how can they get in contact with you? Potential producers, financiers, or any other interested party can go to breakerlane.com. They can request the script, they can view the pitch deck, and also listen to a sampling of the songs. Are you in? Scriptfella, out. <laughs> <laughs>